Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, let me be the first to welcome you. My name is Melanie Ferguson and you are watching Southern Crush at Home. If you are new here also, I would love to invite you to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you can be notified every single time I put out one of these fun DIY videos. So let's see what we have in store today. Today we are gonna use one of my favorite supplies. It's this Dollar Tree pizza pan. Listen, you guys, these have gone viral all over the interwebs. We're talking YouTube, Facebook, TikTok. These projects are always crazy. So I've come up with three unique ideas on a pizza pan that we can have fun with today. So sit back, relax, and enjoy watching my three takes on the Dollar Tree pizza pan. Let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite. Okay, for the first pizza pan, we are going to combine just some regular acrylic paint with this really awesome calcium carbonate that I will link below in the description. Then of course, you're gonna need a Dollar Tree pizza pan. And just to kind of tell you how I used the calcium carbonate, I put a little tiny drop of the powder with some water onto the acrylic paint, and this is gonna turn it into a magical chalk paste. Uh, so once I did just the edges of that, I went ahead and put my vinyl. Now this is just a square piece of vinyl from Target. Um, I really liked the buffalo check design on the front. So I outlined it for the shape of the pizza pan, cut it out, and then I am going to apply it to right there in the center of the pizza pan. See how cute it is? I absolutely love, love, love this tan and white. Now this was from last year, so you may or may not find it again, but you can use any vinyl. You can even use something from the Dollar Tree. Decided to kind of brush over it really lightly with a dry brush of the white chalk paint again, just to kind of give it a little lighter background for this sticker from the Dollar Tree. I loved this scripture and I thought it would look really, really cute on a pizza pan wreath. So I just took each section apart and positioned it onto the pizza pan. Had to go over it a couple times because, um, you know, you got to get it hashtag perfect. <laughs> so anyway, once I kind of removed and re-removed uh, the pieces and got them where I wanted them, I was super duper happy with the um, results. So then I took this little piece of burlap trim from the Dollar Tree, of course, and I hot glued it around the edges of the pizza pan just to give it a really nice finished touch. Now, if you notice when we get to the end of this burlap trim, there wasn't quite enough to go over the entire edge of the pizza pan, but that is okay because we are gonna fill that up with yet another supply from the Dollar Tree. These fun little faux ferns, um, they come in this package. I think there's like six in there. And I just decided to position them around the sides where that missing burlap trim was and it fit perfectly. Now the last step is my favorite. It is making one of these really simple, simple bows using my homemade bow maker. I will link the video on how you too can make one of these for yourself. Just take a zip tie, putting it down the middle of this gorgeous bow, and then I'm going to take some scissors and do a mermaid tail trim on the bottom of these two tails. This is gonna give it a really pretty finished look and uh, really finish out our bow. I'm gonna hot glue it right here in the middle of those faux ferns and then add a couple other ferns to the edge. What do you think? I love this little pizza pan. This was our first project in my 100 days of live video over on Facebook. If you've missed anything, I will put a link below where you can catch up and see all the videos you may have missed. This is super sweet. You can use this anywhere. I have this in the kitchen on a little easel right there on the countertop. All right, so let's go to pizza pan number two. I'm gonna use a Dollar Tree tile. These are the fun peel and stick tiles that are so hot this season from the Dollar Tree. I just uh, traced it for my pizza pan and I'm just gonna let you know that I had really bad luck with mine. So I placed it there and then I went ahead and trimmed it, but 
it uh, the sticker backing came completely off so I ultimately used a hot glue to adhere it now this is one of those cute little silver trays that you can also pick up at the Dollar Tree and I'm just using a second piece of that um, peel and stick tile and uh, put it right there in the center of that. So if you can't guess by now, we are making a fun DIY pizza pan pumpkin. And instead of using um, three of those silver trays, I just used one and a pizza pan and I thought it worked out perfectly. Now this is the Jenga blocks, super popular. I've done lots of projects using these Jenga blocks and I thought they would work great for a stem at the top of the pumpkin. So just adding a little bit of hot glue to the back there, they make the perfect stem. Now we're gonna apply this patina finish. If you are new to me or you've not seen any of my prior videos with the patina kit, I will link the kit below. It is a super easy to use, fun and amazing uh, finish that you can add to pretty much any project. It works on plastic, wood, metal. It will make anything look like patinaed metal. Now the first step is to add this primer. It is sort of a bronze brown color and you're gonna add it actually two whole coats. Um, the first coat is just a light layer and then you're gonna go back with a second coat of this primer. Now I made sure to get right up under those edges of the pizza pan because uh, you can see it from different angles. So using a sponge brush for the applicator on this was a really good choice. Once you have your two layers of primer, you're gonna go back with this actual bronze paint that they provide. The kit comes with the primer, the paint, and the aging solution. This is the aging solution. It is just a spray, super easy. Wherever you spray this, it is going to turn it the most beautiful aged, kind of a turquoise look. And if you work in small sections, like I'm showing you here, it, it works perfectly because you want to spray the aging solution onto the paint while it is still wet. So I'm just taking it in small sections, making sure the paint is wet, adding the patina spray right behind it. And you can use like close up spray like this. Do you see the drip right there going down? Uh, that's gonna make such a beautiful, beautiful, um, effect there or you can come back further away from your piece and spray light spritzes to just kind of make kind of a again like a regular weathered natural look now this piece turned out super cute and i love the look of this it takes some time you can sort of see it there where some of the beginning pieces i sprayed were already turning but it does take about 15 minutes now I'm adding this cute doily bow. If you missed my doily bow tutorial, I will link that of course also below in the description so you can make some of these yourself. Ultimately, I decided to add a little bit of bling, which I also link below to my doily bow. And this is our finished pizza pan pumpkin. Oh my goodness, y'all, look at the patina. I decided to add that little thankful metal piece from the Dollar Tree as well, and I patinaed it as well. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below if you like this one. I absolutely love it. So for our third and final pizza pan, I am using some scraps that I had left over from a um, piece of the Dollar Tree wallpaper that was kind of designed like shiplap. And I thought it would really help make up the spaces where this calendar piece that we're using, which is also from the Dollar Tree, is gonna go in the center of the pizza pan. And I'm just using my straight edge knife to get a clean finish on all four of these sides before we add our calendar piece. Now this is a really cute calendar from the Dollar Tree. Obviously it says, always be grateful. And I'm just gonna add it with a little bit of Mod Podge. The Mod Podge is uh, really flexible, guys. You can use it and you'll see I actually lift it, lift it back up, lift it back up. I'm kind of a, one of those that I can't make up my mind. Then I went and grabbed this little Dollar Tree bag, y'all. Normally people use saran wrap and cling wrap and things like that. I know that, y'all, but I'm like one of these crafters. It didn't occur to me to, to get that over here before I got started. So I felt like my little uh, shopping bag was just as good. And it was. 
Then I made sure to add the Mod Podge to the underneath of all the corners where it did not get the first time. And then I just spread out all the bubbles using that Dollar Tree shopping bag. So I went back with that same straight edge when I was done and made sure to trim all of that excess as well like I did with the shiplap stickers. I am just like stickers, but they were really shiplap wallpaper. So at the end, that is such a great, great finish. Now I took this old vintage grater. I found it, I picked it up at a little antique mall for a couple of dollars and I'm just adding that patina kit um, effect to this one as well. So I added the two coats of bronzer, I mean two coats of primer, two coats of bronzer, and then finally that patina spray um, to actually give it this aged look that you'll see in a second. And then I went ahead and decided to add Dollar Tree rope to the inside of the pizza pan. So on the inside of the pizza pan, I just kind of went around in a circle and finished uh, trimming it out with this rope. I thought that was a really nice touch to this pizza pan. And then I uh, cut off the end and decided at the last minute, oh, I think I'm gonna add that patina finish to the, the edges of the pizza pan as well. So again, it was two coats all the way around the edges of it and then the bronzer after that, as well as the uh, aging solution finally after that. And what I found as a really nice tip was to leave a pizza pan underneath your pizza pan and it makes kind of a makeshift turntable, made it really easy to paint everything. Then I hot glued that vintage grater right there over the grater on the calendar piece. And I went and made a little bitty, um, a uh, jute bow, so cute, with the bling again that I will link below so that you can grab some for your projects. And I just absolutely love the way this one turned out. I always love the way they turn out, but this one is, I wanna say, one of my favorites. But let me know which of the three is your favorite in the comments below. Do you see that patina there? Oh my goodness. Absolutely love the way the grater turned out and the edges of the pizza pan. This one is one for the record books. I absolutely love it. Don't forget to always be grateful and subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos.